Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, man, you know the coach is happy. I'm sorry, the coach is happy. Woo-hoo-hoo. Colombian Queen Sabina Mazo versus Justine Kish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a fight. What a fight. Man, look. Justine Kish came out, and I'm to my Justine Kish came out blazing. I'm to my Justine Kish. I'm going to tell you, man. Whatever Justine Kish did, to, to I, I don't know. She Justine Kish came back on fire. I mean, Justine Kish was hitting Sabina Mazo with the double leg kicks. Like, she'll just jump. And every time, like, you you, you think uh, Justine would throw one leg kick. No. Justine Kish would throw, like, a double leg kick. And you know, man, I'm going to tell you, man, I said, oh, man. I said, man, man, man. Sabina got to pick the pace up, man. In round one, Sabina was trying to, you know, she kept trying to find a range. And, uh, you know, Sabina landed some real good head kicks, though. And I started thinking, okay, I said, I wonder how many of these head kicks is Justine Kish going to take, man. Like, because Justine was eating them at first. Justine Kish was eating some head kicks, man. But then, Justine Kish, man, she started putting the pressure on Sabina Mazo. She started putting the pressure on Sabina Mazo. Justine Kish started landing rights. Okay, but she was switching from southpaw to orthodox during the whole fight. And I'm like, okay, I know what she's doing. It was working, okay? So, Justine Kish was switched from southpaw to orthodox. And then she fired off like a three-punch combination, man. And, uh, you know, it was confusing Sabina. So, Sabina was having a hard time timing Justine Kish. And I know Sabina. I know how she fight. Look, if Sabina Mazel was a class, I'd have gotten an A. If Mazel was a class, I'd have gotten an A, okay? I, I, honestly, she was trying to figure out Justine's pattern. She was trying to time her. And I know Mazel was collecting data. And, you know, she's a slow starter. And, you know, Mazel is one of those people that she's not going to overextend herself to take unnecessary damage early in the fight. Mazo rolls the dice on herself. Now, Mazo always, always has a strong third round. Always. Every fight that you've seen her in, if these fights go three rounds, Sabina in the third round comes out and she's got her opponent figured out. You know, I wish, man, that Sabina Mazo could just actually figure him out a little bit faster so she can at least have the next two rounds can be more productive. But Sabina Mazo, you saw her throwing body shots. And see, that's the little stuff that, you know, Michael Bisbean, and they, they were missing those little pot shot body shots that she kept throwing to Justine Kish. But they started adding up, man. Because by round three, you know, Justine Kish was breathing. You know, I mean, let's put it like this. She wasn't breathing because she was tired. She was breathing because of the effects of the body shots. The body shots, you know, they wore Justine down. Now, round two, Sabina Mazo began to pick up the pace. Justine Kish, though, man, I'm going to tell you, man, <laughs> Justine Kish is fun to watch, man. Damn, she's fun to watch. Justine Kish kept it moving. She kept right on coming ahead. She kept right on engaging Sabina Mazo. And I like how Justine Kish was fainting to get in on the inside because Mazo kept throwing them kicks, man. And Mazo in round two, she caught Justine Kish like with another two head kicks. And I'm like, yo, I don't think Justine Kish can withstand them head kicks much longer, man. I don't think she can keep doing it. And, you know, Justine was trying to play it off like them kicks she ain't feeling. But nah, man, because Sabina was slapping Justine with her shin, man. And you know, from the outside of the octagon, it really looked like Sabina not putting a lot of power on them kicks. But man, when they do the replays, and you see when Sabina land those kicks, Sabina, I'm going to tell you, man, it's a wonder Sabina didn't kick Justine Kish head off, man. And Justine, she wasn't blocking those kicks. And that that's a problem. Because round two, oh, and Justine Kish got a very good takedown in round two. Um, and I think, I still think Sabina won round two. Even though Justine got that takedown at the end of the round. Uh, Sabina did a good job, though, of controlling Justine in the guard. So Justine was very limited. She couldn't even do a lot of damage in that guard. So, I mean, round one, I definitely gave it to Justine Kish. Round two, I kind of edged it out and gave it to Sabina Mazo. So now round three. I said, the fight's up for grab. This, this round is going to secure the fight for whoever wins this round. And you saw Sabina being more aggressive. I said, okay, I know what this is. Sabina Mazo got this figured out, okay? She got it figured out. She knows exactly now what she needs to do. And sure enough, Sabina Mazo, Justine Kish comes in. And, you know, notice Justine was already leaking, okay? Sabina, in round one, caught Justine with, like, this crazy, crazy head kick. And it immediately cut Justine open. So Justine was already, like, she was breathing from the body shots, and she was already cut open. Sabina lands another head kick. 
This time I saw it. Justine Kish felt the effect of that, and she started backing up. And then when I saw Sabina close in the distance, I said, it's over. Okay, it's, it's a matter of time. Sabina's going to land another head kick. And Justine, she was looking dead at Sabina. Sabina just threw up a kick. And I'm like, how the hell does Sabina throw these kicks up that fast? It's like she's throwing them up. You know, and those are those switch kicks. Go look at videos of Sabina Mazo in gym training. She's always practicing how to get that leg up off the ground quick. And Sabina throws it up so fast, you really can't see it coming. It's almost like... You know, it's equivalent to like a jab. Like, Sabina can throw that kick up there. And, you know, people are saying, well, you know, her throwing the head kicks is dangerous. I said, Sabina not going to stop throwing that head kick because she was successful and she landed it. Well, I think the third head kick in that round, maybe two. Okay, somebody correct me. Sabina caught Justine Kish on the third kick, man. And I'm talking about she caught up flush. Just, Justine Kish was scrambled. Sabina had two options. She could have finished this round with ground and pound or... She could have just, you know, done something else. Sabina chose a rear naked choke. And, you know, I was shocked. I was really shocked at how fast Sabina was able to slap that rear naked choke on. I was shocked. Like, she went, she ran, and Justine just sat there. Justine was so discombobulated, Sabina was able to go to go behind her and get that rear naked choke. And Sabina choked out Justine. Justine tapped out. I'm going to tell you, though, man. Man, this fight was good. Justine Kish. Boy, I'm going to tell y'all, man. I like Justine Kish, man. I won't. I mean, I, I, I got to interview. I'm going to interview Mazo. I'm going to interview Sabina when she get back settled and back in California. I'm going to interview her, okay? And I'm, I'm going to talk to Mazo about this fight. I want to talk to Justine Kish about this fight, okay? I want to talk to her. Like, Justine Kish. I mean, look, Justine Kish looked good. Justine Kish looked good, y'all. And I'm talking about, man, it's like she found, like, a fountain of vigor somewhere. Um, Justine just miscalculated, man. When Sabina throw them head kicks up, you can't play with that. You can't play with it because she's going to land a kick that's going to do the job. And that's what happened in this fight. It was the head kick. The head kicks added up. The body shots. Um, you know, now Mazo, she really need to do something, man, because um, Justine Kish ate her leg up, man. And it's like, you know, me thinking Mazo, you know, in Muay Thai, I'm thinking Mazo going to check some of them kicks, man. And Mazo, it's just, it wasn't that Mazo wasn't trying to check the kicks. It was just that Mazo was too slow to catch him. Like, it was a big speed differential. But, what I always say, time and beat speed. Shout out to my girl, the Colombian queen, Sabina Mazo. Yeah. It's your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. Subscribe.